Hello, my name is Adonis and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a love coming spread for all of my Sagittarius out there. This is a love coming spread for all my Sagittarius out there for the week of October 20th into the 26th. So without any further ado, let's jump in and see what the cards have to say. Sun rising being a Jupiter, Sun rising being a Jupiter, Sun cards I need to see, Sun cards I need to see. What kind of love is coming towards my uh, Sagittarius during the week of October 20th to the 26th? Here we go. Ooh. Okay. All right. So there we go. So right out the gate, we got a Knight of Pentacles in hot pursuit. Okay. So that's an earth sign individual. That is a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. All right. So this in now the interesting part about knights of pentacles they're very again strategic okay in how they approach uh, approach any situation uh again reasonable responsible so they put a lot of thought into it uh in, in, in other words so this individual the interesting part about this here is this earth sign person pursuing you believes that they have the higher ground got the seven of wands here so they they feel like they got the higher ground um in this situation and the reason they feel this way okay you got the four pentacles here they believe they're going to have a sure success so in other words they're pretty confident they're not lacking they're not lacking confidence here they're pretty sure that the way that they're approaching the situation with a pursuing a relationship with you is a done deal it's a no-brainer okay like i said no lack of confidence here because they 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 planned it out. They plotted it out, in other words. So very sure of themselves. In addition here, we have, this is when things get interesting, though. We have an air sign individual, Ace of Swords, okay? So this is an air sign individual. This is a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius. Now, the interesting part about this individual here is, for the most part, a lot of pentacles. They're pretty, they're, pretty, they're, they're okay being single, like, they could do with the relationship. They could kind of do without it. But there's something about you that um, makes them kind of want to try their hand at this whole relationship thing. Okay? Um, like I said, they're pretty cool just being solo, but there's something about you, right? Gives them a sense of renewal of hope. Okay, sense of a renewal of hope. Um, Empress energy. Okay, we're talking about fertility. We're talking about abundance. We're talking about material, uh, material uh, wealth. Um, we're talking about deep love. And the reason why, again, they're again, I want to stress, they're cool being on their own. Okay. However, there's something about you that makes them kind of want to get back into the scene again the dating scene again and especially it's specific it's something very specific about you now who would want to do this and why an x there's an x here okay and so this x this air sign x has pretty much been on the sidelines for a little bit um i get the i get the sense here that there is this is an x this is um this is an X from a, from a while ago, okay? This is not like someone you just recently broke up with. There, there's some miles here. In terms of miles, I mean years. There's some years here th th where there's been a gap here b b uh, since last you've seen this individual, okay? So just to recap here, you got an earth sign individual, pretty assured of themselves, pretty sure they're going to have success uh, with the outcome of, of, of pursuing you, okay? So they're pretty, they're pretty sure that they... They got your number, in other words. They've done their homework. They're pretty sure they got your number. But what's kind of kind of going up for them a little bit, especially if you still have feelings for this air sign individual. This air sign individual is coming back on the scene again, okay? And that's going to make things really interesting, okay? So that's, um, <clears throat> that's, a, that's a soap opera going on there. Interesting. <clears throat> so with that being said, what kind of strengths... Are my Sagittarius going to be working with during that time? What kind of strengths are my Sagittarius going to be working with during that time? What kind of strengths 
on my Sagittarius going to be working with going October 20th to the 26th. Here we go. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh. That could go either way. That could go either way. That one. Okay, so. <clears throat> Ace of Wands. Okay. Sexual passion abound. Sexual passion abound here. Okay, there's a lot of sexual energy, a lot of sexual passion, a lot of creative energy here. So, you know, in other words, you know, the, the, the hunger, the sexual hunger and desire is definitely here. Okay, along with that here is we have, um, <clears throat> there's a lot, you got a lot of, a lot of spiritual passion, a lot, a lot of spiritual passion as well, a lot of courage as well. Okay, now. Funny, you got the nine of pentacles. You're, you're pretty, you're pretty comfortable in your own skin too. You know, you kind of enjoy, you kind of enjoying your own company as well. However, okay, and this is where things get interesting as well, because also as seen as insurance, you got the double card here. <clears throat> now, the double card in this particular context, the double card. Could mean one of three things. Okay? Um, the devil card in terms of a strength could mean there's some could be some kind of addict like like I would say, okay, there are some addictive uh things that were here uh, that you recognize because these are your strengths. So you were in a toxic relationship, you recognize, you know, the toxicity when it comes across when it when it comes uh, uh in in your crosshairs there. Um that's not, that's not this. That's not this. Okay. Or I could say <clears throat> also overall, there's a toxic relationship um, and where there may have been no substance abuse, no alcoholism, alcoholism and anything like that. You know, uh, so oh, this is overall, there's a toxic relationship, so forth. That's not this either. The, the, the devil card in this regard, okay, <clears throat> especially when you you got these two things right here. This, this is the significator of this. Okay. These two are together. And so, in regards to that, we're talking about some, like, a straight sexual relationship type thing. Like, straight, like... Heavy, 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 heavy on a sex. And I, when I talk about sex, I'm talking about some, some rated X, some rated X shit here. Like, like, like hardcore, just straight, hardcore type of, type of stuff. Okay. Like, like you, you get, you get what I'm saying without me having to get too graphic. It's just like, this is like hardcore, hardcore. All right. Type of sex, a type of sexual situation. That's going on here. And where the relationship is just straight sex. Really like 80% sex, lust, that type of thing. And like 20%, maybe even 10% actual real love. Like So that's what's going on with this particular situation. We also have uh, the Empress card here. Which means, you know, uh, uh, abundance, fertility. fertility okay. Um, that sort of thing. Um, we also have... Four pentacles. So you're definitely assured, you know, you know, you like you, you know that, you know, listen, you can pretty much want get whatever you want. Okay, you're pretty you're you're that sure that you can pretty much get whomever you want. There's that conf that kind of confidence and that kind of swag coming off of this thing here. Now we do as, as you know, good or bad, Hierophant, so there is a possibility of, of like a, a long-term relationship here, possibly even marriage. But I really want to qualify that statement by saying, um, if there is this, if it, if it does end up being a long-term relationship, it's going to solely be mostly based on sex, okay? Um, and if there's a marriage, it's going to solely be based on, like, like again, 
there may be like a small percentage of a chance that there's other, you know, there may be some other other things there, you know, like, you know, like love, that thing. <laughs> I'm being sarcastic. So before people text me, I mean, email me some nasty stuff, I'm being sarcastic. So, you know, that, that little thing called, that little thing called love, you know, connected, you know, connected with each other, that, the, that little thing like that. There's not going to be too much of that. It's going to be a whole lot of it, a whole lot of sex. It's going to be primarily focused on that. And you got the sixth of swords. So again, things and 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 believe it or not, with that being the case, you all the chaos and everything is is going to be smooth sailing. The reason it's going to be smooth sailing is because it's not going to be overly complicated. Okay, it's not going to be overly complicated at all. You're going to you know it's this it is exactly what it is. All right, putting that out there. So, what type of things from um, <clears throat> what type of things from your past could possibly affect the outcome of this situation? What possible things from your past could possibly affect the outcome of this situation? What possible things from your past could possibly affect the outcome of this situation? <clears throat> Ooh. Okay, so. <clears throat> interesting, interesting, interesting. So, we got three cards here. Hermit, okay? So, what could possibly affect the outcome of this particular situation? If you start doing a lot of deep soul church and really thinking about it, um, then you'll probably come to the realization that it may not be the best course of action, you know, for a purely sexual relationship. If you, if you did a lot of the deep thinking about it, that would probably potentially kill all of this because you see that it would be it would be more uh, uh it would be better in the long run for you to find something that actually was a little bit more balanced the moderation a little, a little 50 percent sex 50 percent love that sort of thing even if it was six a 60 40 type thing not so imbalanced and if you really thought about it th then you would come to that realization okay so that's one thing that could take that could stop all this. <clears throat> now, again, six of cups here. Again, having a connection uh, with someone. Again, a judge, the judgment card popped up here. Um, maybe if you really kind of start doing some deep thinking as to why exactly. Again, because in the past you just walked away from this person, or maybe we're quick to get back with them. But if you really start thinking, hey. Why did you and this other individual separate in the first place? You know? Um, if you haven't started doing that, then you may come to the realization, well, you're left for a reason. Okay? And, you know. Now, finally, we got the four of pentacles. And like I said before, you're pretty assured you can get anybody you want. Okay? Um, and in the past, maybe you weren't so sure, but now you are. You're very sure you can get whomever you want, pretty much. And um, that's what, you know, that's what's pretty much going on here. So let's see what additional information <clears throat> spirits want to give before I shut this thing down. What kind of additional information spirit have for you before I shut this thing down? This is a steamy reading, y'all. Steamy. Okay, so, interesting here. <clears throat> so, boom. Friction. That's funny. Friction. So, depending on how you look at it, there's going to be some friction here. Okay. Um, it, could be, it, could, it could be the other way. That we, I don't need to get into details. It could be the other way. A lot of friction, a lot of sex, cause a lot of friction, a lot of fire, that type of thing. You get it. Um, also, it could represent also, as far as friction goes, there also could be this aspect of there being um, um, uh, 
because the relationship is just solely built on sex, um, there's not going to be much else there. Okay, so, um, you know, there's going to be some problems along the way, for sure. Okay, so that's something that you definitely are going to want to um, think about, okay? In addition here, we have, to see, we have the re renewal, okay? And so there will be this sense of, there will be this sense of renewal, for sure. There absolutely will be a sense of renewal, um, you know, re a, 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 a renewal of a sense of, of, of a spark here. And this may have a lot to do with, uh, when, I, when I'm seeing this, I'm kind of feeling this may have a lot to do with your ex coming back into the picture. Because maybe, again, your relationship was primarily built on sex. And maybe that's why this individual is coming back, even though they're happy being solo, that they're willing to kind of jump back into the fray again because, you know, the sex is popping. So they're like, hey, you know, um, it could be one of them things. Um, yeah. And so... There's that, okay? <clears throat> this Two of these cards are going to pop out at the same time. That's why I'm going to do them last because they're, it's kind of funny. But I'm going to kind of, I'm going to kind of do it anyway. So, <clears throat> one is core, okay? So, there's going to be a, a core, a deep core amount of passion that's going to, um, be, and we've already established that, so I'm not going to be redundant. It's going to be from 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 a really deep 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 internal level you know it's going to be a lot a lot of that's going to be popping a lot of that's going to be popping here okay we got this heat all right so you know these cards you know together you know you you get you get the point it's, it's good it's going to be um whew. it's going to be hot <laughs> all right so anyway um i'm gonna shut this thing down Stop while I'm ahead. Um, so um, I'm shutting this thing down now. You guys get the point. Um, <clears throat> you haven't already, please like, please share, please subscribe. Um, this is a general love reading. Um, it may not resonate with you. That's fine. Um, get a personal reading so I can look into your particular situation and we can figure out what's going on with you. If it did resonate with you, hey, that's great. And, you know, still get a personal reading so we can kind of dig in a little bit further. Because I'd really be interested to know a little bit more about the situation, to be honest with you. Um, so, that works too. Um, so, I'll leave all the information everything below. My name is Adonis. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.